Good morning to everybody. I think that uh, it's very important uh, what uh, yesterday Coach Bush has told us. This guy that uh, I think that everybody of you knows has changed, has made a kind of revolution in the United States because now aquatics swimming is on the top of the rank for the audience in television of the Olympics. And, but why he reached this point? Because now the sport, because the United States was always swimming in the United States at the top. You, you remember Mark Spitz in, in 72. That was a Special Olympics because it was known worldwide for the attack of, of Black September. And so there is a memory of these Olympics. But even when he won in Beijing, it was a special place because it was uh, Beijing the first time. The, the attention of the people was very focused on these Olympics. And he did a great job. He did a great job because he has changed also the feeling of the people because also his private life came out after Beijing. And so there was more interest, more interest about uh, aquatics, about swimming. And now I will show you how it's changed the situation also in Europe. With the experience of uh, two top newspapers in Europe that are L'Equipe and Gazzetta dello Sport, where I work, how they change the space that are given to aquatics and, sw and swimming in the years. For example, this was Atlanta 96, and after, and, and after there was Sydney in 2000. How was the space on the keep about uh, swimming? This was uh, in 2004 in, uh, in the Olympics in Athens, and there was something regarding Thorpe, but was not still in, in front of the big public. After came this lady, Manadou. She has made a kind of revolution in Europe, especially in the way in which uh, L'Equipe usually was uh, writing about sport and about champion. Because the policy of uh, L'Equipe was not to speak about the private life of the, athlete, of, of the athlete. But she has compelled, step by step, to change this attitude. Because uh, she came to Italy for training and for love. And so she has compelled, step by step, the keep to change their, their, uh, their policy. And for example, for the first time, you can see there was all the, la the life of Laura on, on, the, on the newspaper. Before, it didn't happen. And uh, in some way, look, now how is the, the swimming and the aquatics on, on the keep? It's amazing, the space that they have now. And this is the real promotion for your sport. And this is Laura, that now is at the end of her career, but she did a wonderful work. This is La Gazzetta dello Sport, my newspaper. This is a copy of a newspaper of 1924. On red, it is the space that was for swimming there. It was not so big at this time. And uh, in 24, it was born also our Association of Sport Journalists in Paris. After we are going to 1960, when this, the, uh, this, the swimming and aquatics are coming to the fr front page, they are USA and Longbrook. And after came more and more in our newspaper, but was especially, uh, uh, how you say, it happened only during the Olympic or the World Championship, because during the week there was not so much space for swimming. After especially with Cal when Caligaris for us won the, uh, the, the uh, gold and the world record also at the World Championship in Belgrade. And uh, she has begun to, to be the first, first lady of sport in Italy with swimming. But after we come back to nowadays, when Manadou came to Italy for training and for love with Marine. And suddenly, also in our newspaper, has increased on daily basis the space on, on swimming. And after Manadou has teach also to Pellegrini 
how to act as a star on the show. Because here was a page, can you imagine, that we have dedicated to the tattoo of, of, of Miss Pellegrini. It has nothing to do with the technique, but this has helped more people that were outside swimming to know better this sport. And after, Pellegrini with Magnini, that is a kind of rhyme, and now she is the top sportswoman in Italy. She is very well known. Through also her private life, she was very, she's a master in teaching to everybody how to promote herself. After we come to this guy that everybody of you know, Yanto, no? that suddenly came out with the, the possible suicidal, suicidal agony. It's a kind of uh, confession that perhaps 10 years ago would be never possible. Now the private life is emerging. This morning I've received a, a news from uh, Australia in which he has uh, complained because uh, some newspapers are speaking now about his sexuality. And I, I agree with him. It is not a good thing, this. But why? Because now with the new digital media, everybody wants to bring his privacy on the stage. Look Facebook. Everybody of you, maybe, that are on Facebook, and you are posting your private life on Facebook. So why the athlete cannot do the same? And why the newspaper cannot do the same? This is always Jan Torp, because he's still very popular. And here is what we have chosen as association of press. We are making a, every three months a, a magazine that we send around to all to 10,000 people, our members, plus the top people of sport. And we have chosen, I have chosen this lady, Jacqueline Freyney, that she won a gold medal at the Paralympics in, uh, in London. Because you remember, for many, many years ago, the people that had disability were in some way hidden by the family. Now with the sport, we made the miracle. Now they are in the full light, and they are citizens and as everybody. And for this reason, I have chosen this one. This one, and also the, the young girl from Lithuania. Because this is the future. This is something that is uh, opening our heart, even if we are journalists and sometimes cynical. Here is the, the great guy that of before, where we begin. And now here, I, have, I wanted to speak only about how, with the social media, we know some story, as this story of, of this lady in, in Congo that uh, is training in a hotel this swimming pool. First Olympics for Mombo Soleil, who is the Congolese champion in the 50 meter breaststroke. <laughs> a lot of people will probably criticize us, but they don't realize how hard it is for us. We swim in a normal 25 meter pool shared by other swimmers, not a 50 meter Olympic pool. Soleil is a swimming celebrity in the country, having started at the age of 16 more than 20 years ago. Since then, she has won every competition the National Federation has organized. The London Games get on the way on the 27th of July. Yes. And this was an example of the, so, where, where the social media can help to promote something new. Something new because they are the new country for swimming. Because Europe, uh, America, Oceania are at the top. But Africa, Africa is coming. And there are also other situations, perhaps in South America, where we have, we have some champions, but some other can be found. And after, for the last, I have this story that has also helped FINA to change some rules. You remember this guy, Eric De Eric Musofania. With a name like Eric, if he'd been an athlete, he could have been an elephant. As it was, two false starts in the men's heats in the 100 meters freestyle in Sydney. Can you imagine? In the most famous eel in the pool. There were a lot of things going on for me when I watched that, and in retrospect. And heat one of this men's 100 meters freestyle. And here we have Eric Musambani of Equatorial Guinea. And Adrian, I've never seen anything like this at the Olympic Games before. It was very funny. 
This guy doesn't look as if he's going to make it. It is a funny moment. Now I am convinced this guy... Yes, this guy has made a kind of history. He was lacking in some way, but it, it was useful even for FINA to set new rules for the Olympic participation and so on. But also he has uh, given a more human feeling to the people because all, all the public was, were cheering for him. Because uh, how, how can happen that he can run alone because two other has a false start? You couldn't imagine this. It's the destiny. He has changed his life, but perhaps has changed the life of, of other, many other people. But now I want only to finish to tell you that press, sometimes we are very criticized by you because especially the coaches doesn't like us at all because we, we are following sometimes now gossip. But why it happens so? Because now even the coaches doesn't give us the opportunity to reach the athlete, to speak with them. So we have to begin again to work together because we must give to the public a quality pro, pro, uh, product. Because now the culture around the world is going down. So the sport has to take the leadership in upgrading the culture of the people. And to, to do this, we have to work together. We must really work together because the future of the next generation of athletes belongs by you, but also by us. And we need also your help to improve our professional skill. So let's work together and thank you very much.